Hi everyone, and welcome back to the tasting room. We're sampling today the Belvenny 17 year double wood. Now, Belvenny is a distiller that's uh, it's very near and dear to my heart. It's probably my favorite Scotch distiller. Uh, in fact, the, uh, the the very first Scotch whiskey I ever had was the Belvenny 12-year Double Wood. This one's younger brother here. It still remains a standard favorite of mine to this day. So I've been I've been waiting for a while to uh, to pick up the the 17-year here. Now, what Double Wood means here is means it's uh, it's matured in two different types of casks. So the um, the whiskey here for uh, for 16, 17 years is matured in uh, in ex you know ex oak whiskey barrels, and then uh, goes uh, goes for a second maturation in uh, for for I think about six to twelve months in uh, in ex sherry casks. So you know picks up some of those fruitier notes that uh, that, that you'll get from a sherry. We have a beautiful nose here. Right away, I'm getting, uh, getting dried sweet cherries and raisins. Some nice spices in there. Uh, nutmeg and clove. Does have a soft woody feel here. And then if you look a little deeper, if it opens up a little bit, there's a bit of a, like a multi kind of a, almost kind of a chocolatey feel. Right, this is a very nice layered nose here. Mm. Okay, rich and oaky on the palate here. Very nice. Has a lot of those nice fruity notes that you'd expect from a uh, from a sherry finished whiskey, but not. Uh, it's not overbearing like you know like a lot of those uh, those you know heavy uh, sherry matured whiskeys can be. This is very nicely balanced with some spices. Almost kind of has a velvety richness to it. Yeah, and just a, a lot of character here, nice and malty. Mm, very full. Finish on this one is medium length. Spices are lingering, we got a little bit of that clove still. Kind of finishes off with cherries and oak. Don't mind me, I'm just going to chew on this for a little while. I'll be back. Alright, so let's rate this one here. On the nose, like I said before, very nice, very beautifully layered nose. Lots of different aromas. Started out with some, uh, with some sweet dried fruit. Uh, some nice spices, you know, a little bit, a little bit of chocolate in there. Very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and give the nose 24.5 points. The taste on this one, you know, also just, just that nice richness. Um, started a little bit of oaky on the palate. There was, uh, you know, we we had some of those nice uh, subtle fruit notes that you get from that further maturation in the cherry cask. Um, plenty of those spices in there to balance it out. I'm going to go ahead and give the taste on this one 23 points. Finish also very nice. The, uh, the, the clove hung on there. It's the, uh, you know, the, the, the flavor of those, uh, those dried cherries that we were mentioning earlier. Um, was, uh, was a medium length finish. Could have been a little bit longer. Um, nevertheless, I think I'm going to give the finish on this one 22 points.
And then I did think this was a very well balanced whiskey. I'm going to go ahead and give the balance for this one 23.5. And that's going to leave me with an overall score of 93 points for this 17 year old Belvenny Doublewood. Well, thanks for tuning in today, folks. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up or leave a comment in the comment section down below. Then, of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already a member. And then after you do, hit that little bell next to the subscribe button to make sure you get notifications of new videos that come out. New videos on the weekends, so I uh, hope to see you again here next week, right here on The Tasting Room.